Book Nook! The Littlest Dinosaur's Big Adventure by Michael Foreman One day, the littlest dinosaur was sitting by the river and dangling his toes among the water lilies. Suddenly, a frog landed on a lily pad next to the littlest dinosaur's feet. Plip, plop, flip, flop. The frog hopped to another lily pad and looked back at the littlest dinosaur. Then he hopped to the next lily pad and the next and looked back at him again. Carefully, the littlest dinosaur stepped onto the nearest lily pad. It wibbled and wobbled but didn't sink. Then he stepped onto the next lily pad. When the frog saw that the littlest dinosaur was following him, he did a double backflip and clapped his hands. The littlest dinosaur was suddenly surrounded by frogs, all somersaulting, hopping, and diving among the lilies. Flip, plop, flip, flop. This is fun, cried the littlest dinosaur. At last I have some friends my own size. He followed the frogs pad by pad across the river. Splish, splash. When he reached the opposite river bank, there were wildflowers that stretched as far as he could see. Here there were no big, clumsy dinosaurs to trample them, only bees buzzing and butterflies flitting from flower to flower. A butterfly landed on the littlest dinosaur's nose and opened its wings. How lovely you are, whispered the littlest dinosaur, and he kept walking, surrounded by a cloud of beautiful butterflies. It's so much fun being small, he thought to himself. As he followed the butterflies, they flitted from one sunny spot to the next. But soon there was no more sunlight. The butterflies were gone. There was nothing but dark forest. Oh no, thought the littlest dinosaur. It's not fun being small in the dark. But I have the heart of a dinosaur, so I can be brave. If I walk back the way I came, I will find my way out of here. But from which way had he come? He had run all over while following the butterflies and had lost his sense of direction. The littlest dinosaur looked around. Every tree looked the same, dark and spooky. The littlest dinosaur was frightened. Birds and bats flew squawking into the sky. Eyes watched from behind trees. The littlest dinosaur ran. He tripped and slipped and stumbled through the dark forest until he was so tired he could run no farther. He crawled under the roots of a giant tree and was just reminding himself that with the heart of a dinosaur he shouldn't cry when he heard sobbing nearby. Looking around the back of the tree, the littlest dinosaur saw the strangest little creature he had ever seen. I am lost, cried the little creature. Don't cry, the littlest dinosaur replied. We'll be all right, you'll see. He put his arm around the little creature and together they walked through the forest until the trees thinned and they could see the sky. Suddenly it got very dark again and a big, terrifying shape swooped across the sky. Mommy, cried the strange little creature. Mommy, the little creature's mommy landed with a crash and folded her great wings around her baby. Then she looked at the littlest dinosaur. His knees trembled and his heart thumped. Come, the huge mommy said, let's get you home. With her baby and the littlest dinosaur clinging to her neck, she beat her great wings and soared over the forest. The littlest dinosaur pointed to the far river. Soon they were circling over the amazed faces of the littlest dinosaur's family, who were all very happy to see him. That night, snug in his bed, the littlest dinosaur dreamed of his big adventure and of his new friends, big and small. It had been a very exciting day.